today we are going to talk about the systolic murmur of mitral regurgitation now what is basically mitral regurgitation in mitral regurgitation the mitral valve become incompetent and it allows to move it allows the blood to move from left ventricle into the left atrium normally this valve allows the blood to move from left atrium into left ventricle only but will not allow to move blood from left ventricle into the left atrium when this valve become incompetent it leads to movement of blood from left ventricle into left atrium during contraction of the left ventricle and this is known as the murmur of uh, mitral regurgitation and occurs due to incompetence of the mitral valve now we are discussing heart murmurs that are caused by valvular lesions we have previously discussed uh, murmur of aortic stenosis we have discussed murmur of uh, aortic regurgitation we discussed that the murmur of aortic stenosis is systolic and it is exact it is more of ejection systolic murmur then we also discussed that the mur the murmur of aortic regurgitation <coughs> the murmur of aortic regurgitation or more of early diastolic murmur but here again the the systolic murmur the mitral regurg murmur the mitral regurgitation murmur is also a systolic murmur because the normally when the blood moves from left atrium into the left ventricle during diastole there is no extra no added sound or no murmur but when the valve is incompetent and we listen an extra sound during contraction of the left ventricle because during contraction of the left ventricle normally there is no movement of blood from the left ventricle into the left atrium and when mitral regurgitation occurs are uh, due to incompetence of this mitral valve there is movement of blood from left ventricle into the left atrium atrium and this causes a murmur which is known as murmur of the mitral regurgitation and it is basically best heard in systole when the left ventricle is contracting this murmur this murmur is basically pan systolic pan sys tolic it means that the murmur can be heard throughout the systole from the start of the systole to the end of the systole from start of contraction of the left, left ventricle to the end of contraction of the left ventricle this murmur is basically blowing this murmur is basically blowing the, the sound of the murmur is like something is blowing and then finally it is high frequency high frequency murmur high frequency murmur now The, the the mitral valve the the position of the mitral valve is such that it basically it is somewhere uh, posterior it is uh, in the chest the the position of the mitral valve is uh, in the posterior direction so the the best uh, this basically cannot be listened easily and it is best heard around the apex in the mitral area this is the mitral area and this is the the place where it can be heard properly and there is also radiation of this murmur into the axilla we have the axilla is somewhere around here in the uh, around the, in the chest this is the chest here we have the axilla so this sound also radiates into the axilla now the cause is what are the causes the causes of uh, mitral regurgitation include rheumatic fever rheumatoid arthritis infective endocarditis and then the same connective tissue disorders connective tissue disorders like marfan's eller danlos syndrome so and there are a lot of other uh, conditions like valvotomy or valvuloplasty but all those conditions which lead to similarly due to myocardial infarction due to heart attack if there is damage to the cordy tendini or the muscles the cordy tendini or the papillary muscles which are holding the uh, muscle back when they are damaged then the this move uh, this valve can move into the to, or it cannot close properly during contraction of the left atrium normally the valve is like uh, this it will allow movement of blood in the contraction of the left atrium and it will allow it will allow the blood to move from the left atrium into the left ventricle but when the left ventricle is contracting it will close and it will not allow the blood to move from left ventricle into the left atrium when there is damage to this valve when there is a damage to this valve either due to rheumatic fever or rheumatoid arthritis or infective endocarditis or myocardial infarction or there is a rupture of these muscles which are holding it back if they are damaged then this will allow the blood to move from the left ventricle into the left and uh, left atrium and this uh, murmur this aided extra sound will be heard in the systole throughout the systole it will be blowing in nature it will be high frequency it will be best heard in the mitral area and it will also be radiated into the axilla so that's uh, just uh, the an introduction of the murmur of mitral regurgitation from physiology point of view thanks a lot for watching the video